Oh my days, is that an excavator? Nah. Did he do a Lego car? Oh! Bro, did a steamroller. Money, money, money. What is that? What the hell is even that? Bro, edited nothing. I made it look good. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Rating Your Edit, where I watch your videos and rate them out of five. Remembering, nobody gets five. If you want to get five, maybe you should check out my speed ramping course. Anyways, with that being said, let us begin. All right, the first thing we're going to watch is by Jerry Media, and I can already tell this is not your conventional vehicle. Wait, what is that? Excavator. No. Bro. Oh, it's a loop as well. That is sick. Bro, it's a steamroller. Oh my days, bro. I've never. I'm. I'm. I'm literally. I'm. That you. Um. You had. You. You. You could. You Lost for what? That. That super. Like that, um, bro, everything here is so well synced to the music, it's unreal, like, and so smooth. This guy does, honestly, Jerry Media, you guys should check him out. He does some of the smoothest edits, I swear to God. <laughs> the lightning effect with the, no, bro, this is sick, man. Bro, shot at nighttime, and it looks crisp as hell. Also, this little, this, like, lamey, warpy bubble, it's like a warp bubble V2. Like, they've upgraded it to now look like a flame. This is awesome. I love it. I, I feel like he was just walking across the street, and he's like, hey, is that a steamroller? And then boom, looked at his camera and started filming. <laughs> that looks dope. Bro, what a way to start this video, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to just give this guy like 4.3 out of 5 construction workers. Because this is this is awesome. Wait, let me just check his page. Oh, he's got another one. Oh my days. Is that an excavator? Is that an excavator? <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be watching. He did an excavator. Oh. Oh my days. Bro, this guy got the flip on point. You know what, yeah, this lightning theme that he has is awesome. I love it. And the fact that he added the sound design as well in the background adds that extra layer of depth. Amazing. This is something that I encourage in your edits. Like if you add a theme or something unique that really brings you into the environment, into the scene, it just makes things more interesting. Like sure, you can do speed ramps all day, every day and add some effects. But if you really try and take advantage of the environment like he did here, where it's nighttime and added thunder, that's dope. And bro, the rhythm here is, is dope. I'm gonna have to just give this guy another 4.3 out of 5. Excellent. Excavator. Well done, man. Killing it. Killing it with the game. Oh, we've got a shopping cart. <laughs> Bro, it's been a while since I've seen a shopping cart. All right, not bad, not bad edit. I would say that the song is really fast funk, but your edit is quite slow compared to it. So I would either try and speed it up so it matches the flow of the music or just change the song, which I know nobody likes to hear. Another thing that I will comment on, your speed ramps are good. They're slowing down too slowly. It's kind of going fast and then just slowing down. It should really be a dramatic kind of hit and you're kind of staying too long in one spot. You know, it is your first time editing. So you did a pretty good job, I would say. And you did a good job at choosing a subject like the Doritos and emphasizing it and also the corners and bits of the shopping cart to keep in focus. So you're doing a great job, man. I'm just giving you some tips. Also going from the shot moving forward to the next shot here, it kind of like like jitters a bit and then goes left. Try and just cut out any jitters. Remove any, any frames where the camera is not perfectly moving in a straight line. Cut them out. Trust me, it's going to save you time. Great first edit. I love what you're doing here. Room for improvement. So I'm going to give you a 2.9 out of 5 pink shopping carts. And I hope to see you again in the React. 06 media log six fire emojis is that a lego car nah did he do a lego car oh my day my god did a mclaren lego car <laughs> it's beautiful that is beautiful <laughs> we got the particles as well oh man that is just my, my guy just got the car put it there started filming and he made a masterpiece Mwah, beautiful i think this is my favorite shot to be honest like the angle that you chose is so cool like it's it's nice and low you're kind of looking up and you got you're doing like an orbit it's such a nice angle i would say it needs a lot more close-ups like proper close-ups like maybe get a macro lens or something um but dope man I love it. I love it. I'd also do something with the color grading because it looks a bit just like standard black colors, like making a bit more of a dramatic color grade would be pretty cool. Um, and also, I think some shots, the focus is kind of on here, but we're going towards this part. So maybe just like when you focus in, make sure you focus it on the right part. 06 Media, bro, great edit, man. I like that. I like that. I'll give you an extra point for creativity. So 3.9 out of 5 Lego blocks. 
Okay, hardest power wheels edit. Man, bro, you guys are going ridiculous. I'm gonna make this. Okay, this is officially a ridiculous car edits video. Let's do this. I'm gonna make them an offer again. Oh. <laughs> what a shot. Yes. Yo, that's low key. That's a fire car. <laughs> Oh, oh, some Transformers, of course. Oh, and it's a loop. Bro, gets a loop point. I'm telling you, anytime you guys do a loop, you get an extra point. Bro, the pacing of this, camera movement, the glitchify effect, I just want money, money, money. Oh, I noticed the lights underneath the car. This is so ridiculous. I like that. Transformers. Oh, I would have liked to see the, the steering wheel as well. Also, how did you make it move? How did you do that? That's dope, man. I love this one. Wait, I'm going to give you 3.9 out of 5 bumblebees. Okay. First, rate my first robotic movement video. What is that? What is that? What the hell? Even if that's like a tire pressure machine, <laughs> you lot are killing me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh god. <laughs> the music, dude. <laughs> The music is so good. This is dope. I would say, I think this is probably the first time shooting. If you're going around the object, I will try and avoid swaying back and forth and try and keep the subject in the center. Just so that your, your pivoting pivot point is around the subject. If you just do a short little one, you don't have to go all the way around. Just do a short little one, especially if you're handheld, you're gonna get easy shots to speed run to. I also try and avoid cutting between shots that look very similar from the same angle. For example, this one's kind of like up looking down. The next one's kind of the same and it's just static. Like this switch to the like this first rubber shot is really good. You're lowering down and you're changing your perspective, which is really good. I would just say that the movement here with the camera, you really want to stay focused or locked onto something. So here, like you're swinging away and then you're getting to the to the actual object. I, it's just a lot happening. I would just focus mainly on getting some better camera movement. Maybe get a gimbal. It's usually better with a gimbal than doing it handheld. And yeah, just improve on your camera movement. It looks like you know what you're doing and you're trying to be. Funny. I'm gonna give you an extra point for trying to be funny. Lots of room for improvement. Definitely want to see you try more and send more Discord so I can rate them. So I wanted to give you 2.5 out of 5. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see what you do in the future. Let's look at this one by Marvin X. I went on that. Oh, yeah. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. That was like a film, dude. I love the feel of this. It's sick. <laughs> That's a little cross bait. Oh, oh, and it changes it up. Yes, copyright. Music. Mm. Don't want the money. Yeah, so. Gonna pay rent. Hey. Bro, your camera movement is, is sick. Oh, look at this, man. These tracking shots. With the mist, oh, money, money. Oh, a little drift, yeah? Come on. <laughs> Bro, that was sick, man. Definitely great, great cinematography. Great storytelling with your video where you started off kind of shifting gears and everything. Really good job. I don't know, looks like you had a team going on with the drivers. Oh, it looks like you filmed it. Turned out insane. As Kaden Creative said, what up, bro? Love it. I'm in love with the mist shots. They look like it's from a Fast and Furious film. I would say that for my attention span, you know, you start off really fast with super cuts and then it kind of slows down because you're seeing the same shots over and over again. So I would maybe like, like cut between some of the parked speed ramp shots and then cut back just to kind of have that pacing. So like this, this is really misty. But just before that, the mist had gone and you kind of went into clear areas. So I would have just kept only the shots that were in that misty environment together just to kind of keep that that common theme. You know what I mean? And then maybe it would have made the video shorter, but more punchier and more interesting. But yeah, your effects are sick. Your camera sick. Your, your locked on tracking is sick. Guys, take notes. Take notes of this. Amazing stuff. I'm just going to give you a 3.9 out of 5 mist. 06 media again, your car is so slow. <laughs> Bro edited nothing and made it look good. <laughs>
bro four out of five invisible cuts i'm just gonna end it here guys the common theme with all these edits is that they have very sexy very well no performed speed ramps and if you're someone that's struggling with them and they look a little bit shaking all over the place you want to check out my online course how to master speed ramps on premium pro and after effects if you get the bundle i teach you exactly what to look out for when you are filming your car videos including some pov 360 camera views of how i actually film cars for clients so definitely check it out link down below if you want to watch another reaction video you can check out this video here with that being said i will see you in the next one